I'm struggling to think of how to start this episode because what can be said at this point? What can be said that hasn't already been said? Combine that with the fact that it's just the obvious. It's right there. The obvious is right there. We need our big players to perform. It's been the same thing every single time and it's just a matter of whether this team and this group of players, these individual players, can get it done. The lineup. Now, of course, in the last episode, we traded away a couple of people, but with the emergence of Carol Prospel at the end of this season, things are looking pretty good. Seth Griffith should be fully healthy by the time the series starts. Defensively, we are so top-heavy. It's looking great. Willie Maroon has turned into a franchise defender. That is now three franchise defenders on this team, combined with Alex Petrangelo and Justin Falk. The big question is Reggie Mendoza and can he hang? We do have an insurance policy in place with Johan Lander, who has been a decent uh, defenseman for us in the past. We also have another safety net in place, and that is with an unsigned defender from this past draft, and that would be Drewin Delorier, who is up to an 82 overall at 19 years old. We got a shitload of offers from him when we were fishing for trades. No takers, but if Mendoza struggles, he could very well be the one. We have one roster spot left. We could sign him, have him step in, and hopefully he could lead the way. But like I said, there's really not much more I can say at this point. Let's just get in to this series, round one against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Will we face another horrific disappointment, or can this team finally reach its full potential? This might be the best team we have had so far in this series. It took 10 seasons to get here. Game one, first period, and we strike first. Gary Harper, very, very important goal for us. Pretty even in shots. We take the advantage. Second period, Nathan Keene adds a goal. Savard, I wonder if that's David Savard, the defenseman for Tampa. And then Sidney Crosby on their goalie, Del Zotto. 3-1, heading into the third period. Things are looking good. Can this defense hold up? Can the goaltending hold up? Peckham with the goal for Soderstrom. And yeah, needless to say, I'm a little bit nervous now at this point. And fuck's sake, I guess I had a reason to be. Hart with a goal. We have a power play. We can't do anything with it. And we're going to overtime in the first game of this series after blowing a 3-1 lead. All right, let's just, let's move on. I have faith in this team. Power play, please, or not. Another power play, for fuck's sake. Come on now. Come on. Two power plays. Three power plays now. Um, okay, we are, um, wow. Wow, wow, man. Wow. Wow. Holy fuck. That is just, that is garbage. <laughs> Up 3-1, we lose 4-3. I don't even know how many fucking power plays we had in overtime. Philip Forsberg gets the game winner. It was David Savard as well. Just, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it! God damn it! And just to rub a little bit of salt into the wound, Dmitry Finneganoff is out for a month. He'll be back for the second round if we make it. <laughs> Moving forward, these are the lines Hannon now on the top line. Griffith up to the second line, and of course Travis Barron in on the fourth line, covering up for the injury. We have a couple of other people. If he doesn't make it, Pavel Habibulin might be one of the guys we could call up if necessary, but I'd hope Travis Barron can fill in. 
but that fourth line just got a lot weaker. Game two, Seth Griffith fully healthy, but of course now the injury to a Finneganoff looming over this team it came at a terrible time, but let's look forward. First period of game two, and it is even through one second period, and Travis Barron, that's what I'm talking about. That is how you step up, that is how you make an impact and make the most of your opportunities. We're killing them in shots. We need to close this game out, and David Posternock's goal 18 seconds in will certainly help with that. A power play for Tampa, and look at that. The penalty kill shows up. The shots, one-sided. The scoreboard, lopsided. I hope this will be enough. It would be a really, really epic collapse at this point. And we rebound. Stu Hannon with the empty net goal. A just perfect... Perfect performance ugh, performance from this team. 23 save shutout for Mikhail Soderstrom, and we take game two. Now, obviously, that's a big, big result for Tampa to take game one from us, but that is a perfect rebound effort from this team. Let's move on to game three as the series shifts to Tampa. And I can only hope that we have as good of a game there but there have been times where we've blown out a team and then they come back and just absolutely smoke us and completely one-up us. First period of game three. See what I mean? <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. Pekka gets the first goal not too long into it. Zarnik ties it. Zarnik gets another one. DeBrusque makes a 3-1, but Steven Stamkos gets a goal late in the period. By the way, Pekka from the Tukarask spot. Goalies love getting beat from that spot, but we take a 3-2 lead into the second period where it gets worse. Stamkos with a goal and Jan with a goal. We are down 4-3, and with the defense we have, with the goaltending we have, this is just unacceptable. But let's do this. Third period, and Pekka makes it 5-3, and we are in quite a bit of trouble at this point. My God, come on. Come on. Like, if you're not going to get it done defensively, at least get it done offensively, please. A power play for me, please? No, nope. okay, fuck. I think that's it. I think that's it. And our defense completely lets us down. It's a 5-3 loss in Game 3. Again, blowing a lead and losing the game as a result. To say that I am concerned would certainly be an understatement at this point. Not necessarily a must-win game, but falling 3-1 down in this series would be devastating. First period, scoreless. Second period, if you would please game. Are we still scoreless? What the hell? Oh, Jesus, how many times do I got to hit the A button EA? For fuck's sake. There we go. We're not still scoreless. Jan with the goal for Tampa, but Sidney Crosby with a late goal to tie it up. We only have 15 shots. Let's do this. Third period, the big players need to perform. We're doing well in terms of catching up in shots, and that doesn't fucking matter because they have Steven Stamkos. You better fucking do the same thing for me in Vancouver, pal. My God. And we are in serious, serious fucking trouble here. Come on, somebody has to step up. Please, my God, we are down 3-1 to the Tampa Bay Lightning with this team. We are down 3-1 to one to just, I, you know what, I know I forgot to do it, and I might as well do it now because we're fucked. We're just, we're fucked, aren't we? We're just done. We cannot get a favorable look in this series. It's like the game looked at us, looked at the series, and said, yeah, we gave you the sweep over Edmonton. Fuck you. You're not getting anything else. And you're selfish for thinking you would get anything else. That's how it feels. Because this has been absolutely brutal. At, at just, man. Man, this is rough. Let's let's look at their team, I guess. You know, why not? I, I just want to delay the inevitable, essentially. Stamkos is down to an 89. You wouldn't know it. Uh, Dennis Jan is an 87 overall. Drewen is a 90. 
Forsberg, Brian Hart, Matthew Peck is not even that good, but he's been on the score sheet. Nemesnikov, Kucherov, Edgar Peckham, Clint Hamhuis. I mean, they're top-heavy, but they have some guys. 80 overall Pekka, 81 overall Hamhuis, 81 overall Victor Young. Like, they're just, they're nuts. Like, they're top-heavy, but I feel like we have a better offense. I really do. Maybe, maybe I'm fooling myself here. But, who, I don't know, David Savard continues to pop up. We were attempting to get him at one point. Gudis, Kocek, D'Angelo, Wah, and Kochi. I mean, no denying. No denying we have the better defense. Absolutely we have the better defense. As far as goaltending goes, Dwayne Delzado is pretty much in the same boat as a Soderstrom. But this, I feel like we have the better team. I might be wrong. But I really feel like we have the better team. Mikhail Soderstrom has an 896 save percentage. He just he isn't getting it done. He just isn't getting it done. That is absolutely miserable. The question is, do I even start him in the next game? Like Maroon's not doing too bad. Falk's a minus Mendo the Mendoza Falk line really hasn't worked. I just I, I don't even know. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's let's look at the points. Keen has one goal and that's it. I, of course, I don't expect him to get assists. Absolutely nothing from Panarin and Griffith. Of course, of course. Why? Why the fuck did I think Seth Griffith would do something for us when he didn't fucking do anything for us when we had him originally? One of the guys who we gave so many chances to and he could just never perform for us in the playoffs and it's happening here again in what will probably prove to be our last game of the season and Jesus man maybe this series I don't know if I can come back after a loss like this these are the lines we are going with Griffith is with Crosby and DeBrusque Hannon and Harper Pasternak Prospel Zarnik Goodrow Bader Barron and Artemi Panarin defensively we're gonna try Willie Maroon with Nathan Keane. Lozon is with Falk. Petrangelo with Mendoza. Soderstrom is in. He's a young goalie. We have to go with him. I just, I can't in good faith put Serge Lassert in there right now. I mean, we can't really go with Trubarov or Sarchenko. Soderstrom's the guy. He has to get it done. And he, it's just, this sucks, man. This really sucks. Again, to feel like We've put together a good team, and maybe I made the mistake. I felt really good about the Petrangelo trade. Maybe I shouldn't have gone and gotten Seth Griffith. Maybe I should have just kept him where he was in New York and kept our guys that we had. Who knows? Maybe I maybe I fucked with the team chemistry a bit too much. But let's get this over with. First period. We outshoot shoot them 11-6. to six. Doesn't matter. Second period. Harper gets the first goal, but then Stamkos and Drewen with the goals. Our backs are against the wall, and I just want to know. I just want to know if this is over. Power play for Tampa. Nothing doing. Power play for us. And we, Jesus, man, that was a double minor. Was that a major? Ouch. I'm done. I'm done. This series is over. Fuck this guy, seriously. Fucking seriously. A five-minute major power play. The second it ends, Sam Coast gets a goal. And we are out in the first round in five games. Again, we blow it in the first fucking round. Who gives a fuck about Prosper being injured? Who fucking cares? We're out. We are out in five games. Fucking five games with three franchise-caliber defensemen on our team, an elite goalie who could very well turn into a franchise defenseman, and we fucking blew it again. Legitimately, I don't know if I can come back to this, and I know on paper this might not have been the best team. We didn't have that high 90 on offense, although in the past when we've traded for someone like that, say like an Alex Ovechkin, who I'm pretty sure was still hanging around in the 90s, he didn't do shit for us in the playoffs either. As excited as I am to see what Stu Hannon, Finneganoff, Harper, to see what they can become, 
to see if Maroon will turn into that franchise defenseman. To see if Nathan Keene can actually figure out how to get a fucking goddamn assist. And to see what Mikhail Soderstrom will turn into. I am legitimately excited for that. And we do have some solid prospects down here in Providence. I, I can't guarantee that this continues, guys. I really can't. I won't say it's ending, but maybe we'll take a break. Maybe we'll take a break and step back from this series because I just, I can't do this anymore. Not right now. Not like this. Losing these series like this, particularly the last two years in the first round. I just can't do it anymore, guys. I thank you all so much for watching. Truly, with this being my first series on YouTube, I'm glad it's gone as well as it has for how small my channel is. And regardless of how long you've been watching the Bruins GM mode, I really, truly do appreciate each and every one of you. And if this truly is the end, it's fitting. It's fitting for a Bruins fan because we get one cup. But before that and after that, there was a whole lot of disappointment. But God damn it, if I don't want to throw this controller through my goddamn TV right now.